What's going on guys? So in this video I'm going to be upgrading my little mini power supply unit here. Company or seller on AliExpress that makes these and they're really good. They're really small, compact and I just use them for powering up various projects and stuff. And when I first bought it to save a bit of money, I ordered the version that doesn't come with Bluetooth or USB so you can't get like a readout on the computer screen for it. Fast forward a bit and I'm like, huh, you know, this might be a bit useful for like diagnosing like uh, iPhone 7 looping and stuff like that and just seeing and getting a good graph of what's going on on the, on the screen of what's wrong with certain things and just gives you a bit of a timeline rather than because with this it doesn't show a graph or anything it just shows the the live readout as a number so i contacted the seller and they're like yeah sure we'll send you one over and they were costing 10 us dollars for both the bluetooth and usb kit uh, and that's shipped as well and it came about a week or two so all i have to do apparently is just uh, fit it they didn't give me any instructions but i'm assuming i can just work it out yes i don't know well, let's let's have a look the other side now the little knob on the front i don't know if it has a key or anything no there's no screw in it which is good so Probably a tool for doing this, lifting up these retention clips, but eh, whatever. Yeah, they're at 50 bucks shipped. Um, and that's for this base unit, basic unit. Five amp output, 30 volts, I think. The input goes up to 40 or something. So yeah, here's the little guy here. It's got a little LCD. And here's all the buttons. All right, so I figured it out. Quick Google brought up the information I needed. It is what I thought it was, but I just wasn't quite sure. So, whoops. We just have a quick look at the connector here. You can see that uh, the top the top row of pins physically match up with the pin header we need. So we've got four pins. We've got the voltage in, we've got two data pins, and the ground. So all I need to do is just solder in the pin header. Now, these came as separate kits. I don't know if I can run both Bluetooth and USB at the same time, I doubt it, because I think they use the same communication, like the same um, pins, basically, to pull the data out of the, out of the power supply, which doesn't bother me. I think Bluetooth would probably have a bit of a delay on it anyway, so. Oh, we'll just plug, just make things easier. I'll just plug it in so I know which pins what. So obviously the red one is voltage in. You've got your two data pins and the green one is the ground. And if we match that up to the little board here, it even has it clearly labeled. Yes, I'm a noob. Wearing gloves makes things harder. Wake up my AliExpress soldering iron to solder in my AliExpress power supply. Okay, that looks all good. Because yeah, I'm going to be doing this sort of, sort of one-handed. Flux. Get my thingamajig, soldering iron. Give me some of this solder that I pulled off the floor. Just go tack, 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 tack. Is that enough to hold it? Will I sodomize it? I mean, uh, solder it? Maybe. We'll find out. Alrighty, so it's all soldered in there. See if I can get a bit closer. It's hard to get closer with this camera because it's just a camcorder. Looks very nice. I can get a bit of a close up now on the actual board. So I've got these uh, surface mount pin headers, which uh, saves on space, but because these boards are so big, I'll be worried about ripping all the pads off if you pull them off because the connectors are really tight. Um, also, before I put this back together, I should give it an old squeeze. I like how it uses this style of connector for the plugging in and out because I use this more like a portable power supply rather than like a bench one. Well, it was. Um, having that, being able to just unplug makes things easier. And where I've got it mounted on my bench, I've got it sort of like hung up on a shelf. So to remove it to do this video, I just had to unplug it. I'm gonna go find the PC software for this because I didn't get that either. Back in a little bit. All right, so we're now inside the computer. Installing the software. Ooh. Okay, so I've got the little power supply all wired up. There it is there. And then I've got the PC software over here. And let's see if it works. Connect. Oops. Comport. 
voltage setting, current setting, and then our inputs and outputs. So what we can do here is if we go and then we go on, the output will turn on and it will be turned on over here. Now if I get say and we'll stick it in, make me a nice. Oops, always fuck things up on camera. There it is, it's power button I think. And then on the power supply it's going there. And then here is what it looks like on the PC. Now, as far as current goes, I might see if I can do something about that to switch it to milliamp, milliamps instead of amps because the resolution is not that high. It'd be nice to be able to see the graph in milliamps. It shows the, um, the output, which doesn't look like there's any lag between the um, what's on the computer and what's on the actual display of the power supply. There we can see our voltage graph and the current graph. Yeah, this will help a bit. You can't scroll through the graph or anything or save it, which is a bit annoying. So I might see if I can find different software to um, do what I want to do. Basically, I want to be able to like stop the graph, the current graph or like zoom in, zoom out. Oh, I haven't tried. Yeah, the zooming doesn't work. Scroll doesn't work on that. Uh, you can also set like data groups and things. So if you go to advanced functions, you can have like auto test or data groups. And it just reads what it's doing in the moment. Uh, saves it somewhere, not sure. Yes. And I don't know why my output voltage has gone up to five volts. If only I could get the graph a bit better. I can also turn the brightness up and down. And now the brightness is stuck. Anyway. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, I don't know why you're still watching. Anyway, till next time, see ya.